Hey guys, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today we're going to be going over some power supplies and what I'm currently using and why I think you should too. This is a 4 GPU rig, um, nothing real special about it. Uh, RX 480s. Got a 4 gigs RAM, AMD chip. But the one thing that I like the most about this one is the power supply. Now, when I first started looking into these, I was real, real scared when it came to power supplies because of the, uh, well, these things just looked intimidating. I mean, but now I've had a chance to use it and I want to show you about it too. So give me a minute. We're going to head back over to the table. And I will pull some of these out that I have some extras of and give you a chance to see how they work. Hey y'all, we're back in the mining exercise room, cave room. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, power supply talking. I'm going to show you some breakout boards. I'm going to show you some different ones. But of course, like I've always asked in other videos, please always make sure you have the proper equipment before you do anything mining related. You know, we don't want any foreseen uh, accidents and, um, and safety is always number one. So let's get set up. And once we are ready to go, always uh, contact and uh, consult with an electrician before doing any work like that. I am not an electrician. Don't believe that I am, though I may play one on TV. I am not. So... Don't burn your house down. Do the right thing. Talk to electrician. Find out what your walls have in them and then start working on these projects, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and look down here and see what we have going. Right, so here we are. Let's talk some turkey. Now, what we're going to get into is I'm going to show you some power supplies um, and the different ones, ones that I've used before and uh, what I've gone to now. Uh, I think overall... Um, efficiency you know these aren't bad power supplies just your standard uh, this is 850 watt um, it's a modular power supply so that means you know you can you can take in or out different ones that you do you need or you don't need um, you know for instance uh, obviously you're gonna you're gonna need your ATX to get into your motherboard so you know we uh, take that and you can plug that one in um, you uh let's see is this the right side yeah so you got that one um let's see what else i got over here so we've got the uh sata connections so again that one goes in here these are all labeled so you can see here uh i don't know if you really can see there but that's the sata connection section over here and then um, actually it goes for these four and then these two are for the CPU. These two are PCIe. So I'm going to go ahead. You can you know just plug these straight into here. So now if I want to plug in uh, hard drives or anything like that, I can do that here. So we'll keep on going. Let's see what else we got over here. All right. So I've got one for the CPU. So that one is going to go over on this side here these two here are for the cpu i mean it's pretty straightforward you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this stuff you just follow the labels and they plug straight in you know so if you want to do this and if you wanted to have another one for your sata um you know there's other connections that i that came with this this unit i've got it over here um you know it just depends on what you're going to be using it for Obviously, you're going to need the connections for your um, for the uh, video cards. So we pull one of those. Um, here we are here. So this one is the PCIe, and that one on the opposite side has two connections. So you can split that. Um, and like I had showed before, you know, these are simply clip in here. This, these two here are for the PCIe. So we go one here, came with two wires. So I've got another one. Uh, again, you know, 
pretty straightforward. Take that one, goes into this one here, and you are pretty much set. So I could put four GPUs on this, depending on the power it's pulling with the motherboard. You know, I have to keep that in mind. But you go for the hard drives, you go for your power to your uh, secondary power for your motherboard, pr primary power, and you're pretty much in business. Um, from here, you know, you're, you're set to go. You can take this power supply, put this in any computer, and, you know, fire this up and and you know your business so it is that easy and and it is nice to have it all contained and all beautiful i know it is uh, it does make life easy for some people i will say that these modular ones in my opinion are a lot better um, only because if you burn a cable out for some reason you know um, and obviously you should be very careful about that but um, you can you can simply you know just pull your cable and uh you know go buy another cable and you'll be set to go and just plug it back in and you're back up and running so this is you know for that reason I, I will say that it does make it easier to have that um, but you know it just depends on uh, you know what you like now <laughs> I've had trouble you know um, with running some of these now this is a low this is 850 watts so this one's not a particularly um, you know amazing brand it was the hundred dollar ebay special um, it got me mining right out the gate now since then i've bought a couple others and i have had you know tons of problems with them um, you know, i bought them used because uh, again i was trying to start all this you know with uh, nickels and dimes so i wasn't able to afford some of the really higher end uh, power supplies so I, I did what I had to do, you know, to get out the gate. Now that I've been going for a little while, I found that I am, I, I've tried some other options and I'm going to show you those. So anyway, that was the um, uh, power supply. I, like I said, I originally bought off of eBay. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Am I going to try to pronounce that? Anybody can get that one there? Uh, See, got top. I mean, it's okay. Anyway, um, that's this one. So I did have trouble with this one when I first bought it. It did burn out, and I'm going to explain to you why that burnt out. Um, but this one burnt out. Uh, some of the uh, the ports here. Um, I was able to get some more wires and put them in. I still had some problems with that. I sent this back to the person I bought it from. Uh, I contacted them off eBay four months, maybe maybe longer later after I bought this I told them I had trouble with it and I asked if there was a manufacturer's warranty they said there was I thought they were gonna have to tell me to send it to them instead they said send it to us as soon as we receive it we'll send you out a brand new one and wouldn't you know it brand new one came in the mail so I got to give them props to them for for doing that they could have sent me to the manufacturer and I would have been waiting you know however many months to get that resolved but they were really good, so um, I'm going to look them up. Uh, I'm going to probably put a link in the description below. I'm going to contact them, let them know, and see if they mind if I put a link in there for them. Excellent customer service I got from them. But the power supply itself actually is a good power supply. What I did, and what I want to talk to you really quickly about, because we're talking about power, is that, you know, what I had done... Huh, so, when you plug in your risers, um, they draw a ton of power uh, you know considering what they're what they're being run on now these SATA connections and Molex connections for that matter um, I don't know if I have one of my cards in, but, uh, there we go I have one open over here so you know these Molex connections and these SATA connections they're not rated to do really the power that's needed to run these these risers and that in itself is a problem um, these definitely aren't rated to do it and these most likely are not rated to do it it, it, it comes down to a lot of factors with these we could talk about the you know uh, the, the wire the gauge you could talk about the connector you could talk about the pins um, you know what are what are all of these actually rated to run on so even though you might think that you know the wire that you're running it on maybe a 16 gauge or something and you're going to be fine with that but the problem that you're going to run into is that 
is the connector rated that also you would assume that well there's a riser and that's the connector why wouldn't it why wouldn't it work um, but it doesn't it doesn't work properly so you know you run out into problems you burn these um, these risers out uh, they fail and I'm going to show you an example of that so let me, um, let me grab one of my wires over here where I had connected <laughs> yeah really um, geez do I even have it yep here you are nope that's not it probably should get this all together before I start the video but it looks like I have it now or maybe I don't yes I do all right so here's what I have so I had this connection and I ran uh, the SATA off of a Molex to extend uh, out of the power supply. The problem is that, you know, these connections, like I said, are really not rated the, the right to, to, to run this. Let's see if you can see that over there. See that, that melt? <laughs> that melted the two of them together. That's how hot that got, um, that it actually melted those together. And also then um, went further and burnt out the wire that went to here. I don't know if you could see that wire. Um, you know, pretty, pretty toasty. So, anyway, um, you know, that's that's the real problem with these, that, that really in the end, they're not really rated for what you want to be doing with them. Um, and that's that causes problems down the road. So, enough said about that. So, that's that's again that's the problem that I find with these is that you know you are connecting straight in with these now I'm going to show you another power supply I'm going to take this off I'm going to put that right down here for now and I'm going to show you the next power supply that we're going to be talking about today and that's going to be the HP server power supplies so here is what they look like from one side I cut my finger the other day but I'm really being careful with it don't Think that I'm being dainty by not holding this. It just hurts. Um, this is a 700. I'm um, sorry, yeah, 750 watt power supply, and as you can see, it's got the end on it where it would connect. Now I um, can plug in a breaker board onto this, and I want to show you that this is your traditional breaker board. I'm sorry, breaker board, breakout board that you would be using. Um, something similar to this. Maybe it doesn't have the readout. But the idea is, is similar to this. So this is where you can plug in your GPUs. This one here is if you want to daisy chain two of them together so that when you press the power on one, if you have one on each side, if you have a breakout board for each one, and you put this connector, either one of these, to the other one, whenever I hit the power on this one, it will turn on both. And when I hit the power on it, it'll turn them both off. And it works on either one. So if it's, you know, if I hit the power on that one, it turns this one off. So you do have to have both breakout boards with the connector, and you can daisy chain those together. And that would be this wire here. So you just simply hook this one into here, and then you take that one and plug it into the other breakout board. And then anytime you press the power on either one, it does it for you. So that's kind of cool. Um, next part I want to show you on this one is that this is where it really changed for me. I used to be deathly afraid of these um, these power supplies. I mean, it's intimidating to say the least. I mean, how, how do you use it? You know, what, what, what does it do? Where does that plug into? You know, do I, do I plug that in somewhere? Um, you know, I, I have no idea. It looks intimidating. Well, it looked intimidating to me. So I had bought some of these a long time ago and I brought some uh, bought some breakout boards and thank God I didn't use it at the time I was too scared to use it because I didn't know enough about it I had seen some things online I had done a lot of reading about power supplies or not enough of it but at the time I was getting to know a lot about them and it seemed a, a bit above my pay grade so I, I didn't go down this road and I went with the other power supplies that I showed you um, just the standard ATX power supply so now I'm looking into these and I decided, you know, one day I was trying to get my computer to work and I was having issues constantly with power and problems. So I finally decided that I was going to try these. 
Now, like I said, I had bought these before. I had bought the 1200 watt and a breakout board. What I had done was that I bought a breakout board that wasn't compatible with these power supplies. So that's huge. Um, now, thank God, like I said, I didn't use them because if I had hooked that breakout board to it and I tried to use it, not only could I have started a fire, I could have blown out my GPUs. I could have, you know, I could have done a lot of damage, um, you know, burning out my, my computer, let alone the GPUs, or even worse, burn my house down. So you need to talk to an electrician about your electricity in your house. I am not an electrician. I am just explaining to you what I've done. And this worked for me in my situation at my house, not at your house. So you need to talk to an electrician, figure it out, and then start from there. For me, at my house, this works. So I've got two of these. And I, like I said, I'll daisy chain them together. Now, when you hook these up, obviously, when you hook these up to the uh, computer, uh, you're not going to have the ATX power supply that goes into the motherboard that would come off of your typical power supply, right? That's, that's where your, your downside is to all of this. Um, so you will need another power supply to still run the motherboard. And that was a real drag. Well, a company named Parallel Miner came up with a new breakout board. And I'm going to show it to you over here. And it is amazing. Okay. So let's, let's take a look at this. This has a spot for the ATX right here. Has a spot for anything that you want to plug into it. This Molex is, can be used to plug in your um, um, hard drives. And I will say, do not plug uh, your wire in because it does come with a wire. Um, it does come with an extension. I'm trying to find that one here. The problem is, is that that's the one that I melted. <clears throat> so you plug in on here and on the other end of this wire, this Molex on the other end has two different wires. One is the SATA and one is another Molex. I then did the uh, um, uh, extension cable with extra um, SATA connections and I plugged in all of my risers into it. This can't handle that. So this will uh, have problems and you will burn out your wire, melt it and good chance burn your house down. I did not, so awesome. When you do it, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I had learned uh, from them and how to, how to wire this up the proper way. So here we are, we've got these hooked up. Um, now what we're gonna do is that we just take these and we'll connect them in. So it just gets pushed in. This one here also just gets pushed in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna hook it to this board here like that. And now these two power supplies are daisy chained so that when I hit the power here, they both turn on. If I try to turn the power off over here, they both turn off. And they both have a reader on them so you can see your, um, your volts. Uh, it's got all the different fan connectors on this side, as you can see. Um, this, this, is, this is what I've been waiting for. So let me show you what comes with this. Here are the wires that will come with this. Uh, this is the wire I was talking about. It's Molex on one end, has the SATA and the other Molex. So this one will go into this board here, like that. And then these ends can go into your um, hard drive. Now, as you can see, that one snapped off because I had to break it away from the uh, extension piece that I had used. That's over here. And here it is here. So this is the extension that I had used to um, give this like that. And then I plugged in my risers. That's how I learned that that's not what this wire is for. It burnt it out. I had to snap this off because it was melted. You saw the other one over there. That one was melted also. A real um, disaster. Uh, but these are meant for hard drive only. So when, the, when you get this wire with this breakout board, uh, because this will come with it, I believe the extra wire will come with it here. Uh, I know this one for sure comes with it. Um, and then you can plug your hard drive only into this. So there you go, hard drive only over there. So let's put that one over there. Then we come up to the next wire that's gonna come in the pack and it's gonna be your ATX. 
So here it is here. So on one end, it's just got the, the straight connection. That's going to go into the breakout board here. So we connect that there. And then on the other side, obviously you've all seen that. That's going to go into your motherboard. So we can go ahead and connect that to the motherboard. And also there's two four pin. Now these two four pins, you can put those together and make one eight pin. And then this one will go into your secondary power of your motherboard if it has it. Uh, most of the boards that I've used have that secondary power that they want. So this is, um, this is how you'll do that. So this goes into the motherboard, this goes into the secondary power of the motherboard. So now you've got your motherboard powered up. Now you've got to hook up your GPUs and get them hooked in here. Also, there is another wire that Parallel Miner sells, and I will show you that one here. Um, so it's this one, and it's got the six pin on one end, it's got the Molex on the other. Now you can plug this in here, and then put this into your Molex for your risers. Now, like I said, um, I'm going to do a video on power because I have learned the hard way about this um, by burning out risers, by burning out power supplies, by, you know, by sheer luck, not burning the house down. So I want to show you that, but I want to show you the other wire, which I didn't bring over. So give me one second. I'm just going to go ahead and pause this really quick to jump over there. All right, so I'm back. So here is some extra wires that you are probably all very familiar with. They are just your standard 6-pin to 8-pin. Um, now again, these uh, are also 6-pin. You can just connect those together and make your 8-pin. So with these, this would go into the breakout board. So you just connect one here. Now, as far as it goes for plugging these in, if you just have, you know, uh, one GPU, then you probably don't need two power supplies. You probably just need the one. But if you have multiple GPUs, I like to spread the load out between the two boards. And even if I have them on one board, I don't put them in the same channel. So I'll put one GPU, another GPU, third, and my fourth one. I'll put my fifth and my sixth and, you know, seventh. Now, if I start running into having more than that, of course, you could double up. These boards are more than capable of handling it, but there's no reason to put all the GPUs on one side and put that much stress on just, you know, this one side of the breakout board. That's just my opinion. So um, I spread them out across them all. But from here with this one, what I do here is I bought uh, several of these splitters. So this is the female to the male again it's an eight pin and also uh, another eight pin again you can put those together to make that an eight pin and what i do is i will take the piece apart make the six pin connect those together and now what i have is i have a dual connection now what i do is that i will take this and i will plug one end into my gpu and the other end, because I can uh, pull those apart, I will plug this into my riser. So I'll be ri powering my riser and my mother and my GPU with this one cable, which is more than capable of powering both of those together, and can support the the amount of electricity that the riser and the GPU require. So uh, this is how I do that. I think this is pretty straightforward, you know. Um, you know, I have several of these wires. I have a whole, you know, thing of them here. I've got a box of these. So again, all I do is I take this end and let's say now I've got one on that channel there. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on the next row, put it there from here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to split this so I can pull that apart and make that the six. We'll go ahead and plug that one into here like that. And then once again, I have my 8 pin, or like I said, you could always pull these apart, make that a 6 or 8, whatever you like. Um, so I have my 8 pin that can go into my GPU. And then this one here, I know that going into my, uh, my riser, it's going to take the 6 pin. So again, I can have another GPU and riser plugged into one cable. 
So I like that. I like the fact that these these wires can handle the power that you're going to put through them. And that's a big deal. Um, you know, you're going to find out that when you're doing the SATA or the um, Molex, you're going to run into problems. Um, you know, when I when I look back now and I think about it, I wonder, you know, how, how do they sell these 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 risers when they can't even handle the power, which is kind of kind of interesting in itself that, you know, we've all been using them for for a while and now they have these different connections. Well, they've been out for a little while, too, but, you know, not as long as the originals. Um, and it just, um, I guess they pull just less power or not enough. But nowadays, GPUs, these uh, Molex and the uh, SATA are, are just not cutting it. So anyway, y'all, that's it. You know, you just keep going with these wires here and you just keep connecting one, two, three, four. Now, what I did with mine, um, I've got the power for the motherboard here. So I consider that at least one GPU, let's say. So if I had, you know, a, 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 a say a seven or, you know, five GPUs on, on, a, on, a, on a rig, you know, I might put three of them on this board and I might put two over here because I'll consider that, you know, extra power on this side as well. Also, when you are splitting them up between two power supplies, the power supplies um, run cooler I, I believe they will run more efficient, you know, when they're not blasting. And another great thing is that, you know, these fans won't have to turn on. Um, so your computer is going to be, you know, a whole lot quieter. Because even when you have your, your regular um, power supply, ATX power supply hooked up, you know, you're going to hear that fan running. Um, you will not have any fans running in here because this will stay cool enough not doing that. Now, if I was to put everything, you know, the, the motherboard, um, you know, three GPUs or four GPUs over here. This fan would probably kick in and these things do get loud. I'm not going to lie. This thing like just squeals when it turns on. So, you know, you can tell if you're using too much power because <laughs> this thing's going to be squealing. So you will know that. Um, and then that's when you decide to go with the second one and then chain them together and then just start splitting up your uh, GPUs into different ones. So anyway, y'all, that is, that is that. I want to show you, let's grab all these wires. Um, I don't need that one. <clears throat> so I want to show you over here on the computer. I want to show you what um, the website that I've been using, parallel, parallelminer.com. And I'm just going to run you through it with ones that I bought. And we will just kind of end it with that. But for, for this, this is, um, you know, an amazing board. And if you've never done these before, it is that easy. Now I know it seems like, well, look at all these wires. It's not all self-contained. It's, you know, the good thing is that once we get over onto the website, I'm going to start showing you the efficiency for these things and how well they run. Uh, I think that you will be mildly surprised to see how well these run and that they are rated to run in servers uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you know, 365 days a year with hopefully no downtime, these things are meant to just be, you know, powerhouse, uh, power supplies. So, you know, that in itself is, is a great uh, positive to this. So give me a second. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pause real quick. And I'm going to clear off my desk a minute and we're going to hop over to the website. So while I am doing that, you think about giving me a thumbs up or leaving me a comment below, but I'll be right back. All right, so we are back, and I'm going to go ahead and hop over here to the Parallel Miners website. So this is their main um, website. So once we're here, things that you can look at are the power supply kits. Uh, when you go to shop, you can choose what you want to do, power supply kits. Now, we'll say this. Unfortunately, a lot of these items are sold out. Parallel Miner, um, when I first started buying from them, they had these readily available um, after I bought it and I had fooled around with them a little bit and got to know them, I then went ahead and ordered a second set. At the time when I ordered the second set, they didn't have uh, the, the, the individuals available. So when I originally bought these, they were by, not by mistake, but by caution. I had bought an L3++ miner and I wasn't sure if it came with a power supply. So I bought the kit that came with two of these with two standard breakout boards and that was it. 
so that you can hook up your L3++ and, and that was all. So um, it was this kit right here. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go up here and you put in the L3 Plus and you do a search, um, you will see that it comes up with a kit that you can buy um, and we'll go right here. So that's the same thing as I would have clicked on from the other one. It brought you right here. So the idea is that it's two power supplies, two breakout boards, and the wires to hook up the L3 Plus or L3 Plus Plus or L3, I guess. Um, so when I bought that, I bought them as a backup. Now, I had already gone through my point where I looked at the 1200 watt. I would bought two of those and two different breakout boards. And like I said, thank God I didn't hook them up. I wound up selling those on eBay. I got my money back, so I was happy about that. But now when I look back and I see that, you know, how things are sold out now, I wish I had kept those, um, those power supplies and then tried to find a compatible breakout board for it because they're, um, they're not around much anymore. And the ones that are, are selling for a couple bucks. So now we'll say these 750, uh, 750 watt power supplies are, you know, uh, readily available and the price is still cheap now not on parallel minor they are sold out but uh you know they're always getting new stock so you guys gotta keep checking back with them so here they are let me also say that i am not affiliated with power parallel minor um i don't know them from adam uh all i do know is that everything i've bought from them has been flawless everything that i've used by them has been perfect um Yes, we did melt some of their wires, but that was because, you know, I melted the wires because I hooked them uh, into something that shouldn't have been hooked up because in typical fashion, I, you know, was pushing the limits and didn't do enough research and uh, made some mistakes. So now that I have the research and the knowledge of using these, I feel very comfortable uh, talking about them and just how amazing these are now that I'm, you know, not hooking them up incorrectly. So let's go back. And so here we are here. Um, now this kit uh, comes with the larger breakout boards. Those are the ones that I showed you before. Now the mining kit one came with um, without the reading on it, doesn't have the, uh, the readout. It was a shorter board, has uh, less of the uh, the ports because you only need what do you need uh, is there four so there's eight nine so you, have, you need nine connections total so you don't need as big a board um, but you do need two boards because you need them to be cross-linked because just one of these wouldn't be enough to power the L3++ so that's why they sell them in the pair uh, like you can see over here so anyway this is it um, now when I started looking at these uh, you know, of course, I started looking at the 1200 watt, you know, um, look at this, 94% efficiency. So that power supply that I have here, this is gold rated, and I have 80% um, efficiency on, on this ATX modular power supply. So that's gold rated at 80%. Now, this one over here we're looking at, you know, uh, it's 94%. Uh, efficient again these things are meant to run uh, you know industrial these things are meant to be running all the time so they are meant to take a real beating and still produce the same efficiency day after day after day because they're running so long um, and using so much power they've got to be workhorses and these are so unfortunately when you click on the 12 uh, 1200 watt power supply um, you choose your options if you want extra cables uh, and then you choose the breakout board and of course like almost every page out of stock so but look at the price on this you know to get a breakout board and to get the um, let's see let's throw some cables on there just for the heck of it so for, to run this you know even if you didn't have uh, the the new breakout board with the ATX connections and you did do what I did at first was I was just running the power supply, the HP power supply, and I did have the ATX power supply in there just running the motherboard. But I used, I used these to start powering everything else. So the idea was that once I saw the new model they had come out with, 
that is able to power up with the ATX uh, connections. This was this was it for me. So, um, but this one for ninety four bucks, you know. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, let's just go. Uh, so we really can't add it to our cart because it's out of stock. As I said, we can add it all together. But let's just say ninety four bucks here. Then what we're going to look over here. Um, so anyway, so they have lots of different power supplies available. Uh, you want to make sure you check these out. Some of these power supplies only run, um, like this one here, will run on 200 to 240, whereas some of the other ones you can see, and let's see if they put it right out in the beginning of it, uh, some will run on the um, 120. Where is that one over here? So yeah, so this one starts at 100 and goes to 240. So you can plug this into either power source, but you can plug it into your typical outlet in your wall. Again, talk to an electrician. Don't take my word for it. Please look this up or have someone come out and look that up for you and check your wiring. But um, these can be plugged into the wall on a typical uh, house outlet. Some of the other ones cannot. So you're going to want to make sure you're purchasing the right ones also. That's a big deal as well. So once we've looked there, um, again, we can come here and we can just buy the power supplies that they have. I mean, when these things were in stock and they were going, I mean, here we go. Here's the 750 watt. 16 bucks. 16 bucks. Okay. Um, that's 750 watts. I have an 850 watt that cost me a hundred dollars. You know, um, and it's and it's a miserable power supply, nonetheless. The one I have down here, you know, again that 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 one wasn't wasn't very good. You know, I mean, obviously it, it's not, in my opinion, it wasn't rated to do what I wanted it to do, uh, as far as electric. Not that it couldn't run all the GPUs I had, because it could do that. But like I said, you know, um, putting the right power out for my um, my risers uh, and the way it was powering them up. I just wasn't happy with it. I would have had to have gotten a lot of adapters, but even if you get the adapters, you know, you're still going through SATA connecting then to the six pin, even though, yeah, okay, well, now I got six pin, but it's got to go through that SATA to make the connection. So you're still using the wrong connection, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, these are, these are unbelievably cheap. Let's click on the breakout boards. So here's the different breakout boards they have. Um, let me find the one that I really like. Okay, so this is the one that I didn't get, and I really like this one. I'm going to blow this one up a little bit. This one has two readouts on it, okay? Uh, this side here is for the um, motherboard and whatever you want to plug in through the motherboard, and this side can be just for your GPUs. So you can see a readout right here what your GPR, GPUs are pushing, and you can see what your motherboard and anything else you have plugged in, hard drive, CD-ROM, whatever it might be, what that's pushing on that end. So, you know, that's a real nice one. Um, let's see the wires that come with it. So it comes with some wires. Uh, different, I think those are the splitters. Are those the splitters? Yeah, so these are the splitters. It's going to come with splitters if you want to. And these are all add-ons that you can get through the little drop-downs on here. And you can add these all on. So this is the one that I melted. So this one goes into the uh, breakout board, goes right here, okay? And uh, once you plug that one in, again, um, these have them on it. Once you plug that in, you know, you can't connect a, a ribbon onto that that has all the different SATA to plug in all of your different risers. That's what I did, and that was my, my biggest mistake. I, uh, um, I melted the wire twice before I finally realized um, what had happened and that I was pulling too much power. So thank God I was able to test that and figure that out. So now that I've got that, um, you know, solved, uh, you know, I won't do that again and neither will you. But on this one, you can plug in either, you know, your SATA or I'm sorry, your SATA here or your Molex and you can plug into anything you want. Like if you had a CD-ROM or like I said, you know, your hard drive, whatever it might be. Um, you could use it there. Let's go back over. So this is the connection for the motherboard. So here's the uh, connection that goes into the new breakout board that they have. It goes into this one right here, right? So the ATX right here. And then I'll go on to this section right here. 
and then this side goes into your motherboard. Now this four pin does slide off to make this a shorter one if your motherboard requires that. Uh, typically it'll take the entire piece and then on this one this also splits into two pieces so you have two four pin connections. Now my motherboard takes uh, an eight pin for the secondary power so I just simply put them together and plug that in. Let's see what else here. So we're back to the board and there we are. So like I said this is your uh, ATX connection here. This is going to be for your hard drive and then you know as you move into these these are all going to be for your um, GPUs risers these are uh, out here are for fans uh, different fans that you may have on your board or in your uh, box or on the rig however you have that set up now this one over here all right so the, let me show the these two right here these are if you want to daisy chain this together with another unit they put two on here so if you have multiple you can have um, three power supplies and one goes to here and then you plug into the other adapter and then that one goes to the other uh, power supply so you could have multiple hooked up so when you press power on one they all uh come on let's say maybe you have a tw you know 12 gpu rig and you're going to need a good amount of power you know you may have two or three um of the uh 1200 watt uh or maybe you have two of uh, one of the other higher wattage ones but um that's what these connections are here now this one here if you do have a ATX power supply, you can connect this to the power supply so that when you turn the power on the actual power supply, it will then turn the boards on or one or as many boards as you have, however many breakout boards you have. So you can connect into this, it's actually right here. And there is a label on it that says, uh, you know, remote ATX. So it, it is covered by a sticker and that's what that one is that one is so you can connect your atx power supply to here and then when you turn your power supply on um, this will power up as well so that's that's kind of nice to have that as well if you're doing that like i said i did that initially because i didn't have this board um, why i would necessarily need that now i'm not sure um, i'll have to think about that but why i would want another power supply for some reason i'm, I'm I would just be using this so anyway y'all that is that is it in a nutshell um parallel miner like i said i'm not affiliated with them in any way uh i haven't you know gotten paid or have them ask me to do any of this they probably tell me not to do it no <laughs> um but i hope that i've that i've shown you how this all works how these power supplies all connect together i think that these are an amazing thing um I am uh, I'm really happy with them uh, like I said you know this is a 750 watt you know uh, I've got two of these hooked up together that gives me 1500 watts if I need it now remember even though I have 1500 watts hooked up I'm not really pulling that from the wall it's only gonna pull as much as it needs to run the computer or the cards but in the end I do have that power available so I love these little 750 watters. Now, of course, if I had one 1200 watt, I could virtually accomplish the same thing and only have one power supply. But um, for the price right now, these little 750s are amazing and cheap. The 1200 watts, you know, cheap ones online are, you know, 100 bucks right now. Um, these little 750s, you know, I, I gotta say they're like, you know, 30 bucks you know um or a little less so you pick up two of these daisy chain them together now i will say that when we, we were going to look over on those numbers um you would need if you did want the 1500 watt we were looking at that what did we say we were at uh let's put some let's put some pins on there uh you don't necessarily need them you know um but let's throw them on there so for <laughs> what was 68 dollars and then if you want to buy the breakout board now i did show you just this one i'm going to quick show you one more from over here just for funsy um, so there are different ones you know the smaller ones that don't have the atx on them uh, they do have another this one here so they have the um where's the one up here so yeah 
so they have the $78 one and they have the $68 one. Now the $68 one just has one readout on it right here, whereas the $78 one has two readouts. When I bought mine, I didn't realize which one I was clicking and I chose the, um, uh, the, the, the $68 board with the one readout. I would have liked two of them. Now I, I, I do have a, a meter on the wall that shows me the overall consumption. So I guess if I took the GPUs out and just turned the computer on, I'd be able to see how much power I'm really using. But um, it would be kind of cool to have it right there in front of you also, so you can get a, a quick uh, readout. But I didn't have that. So I just have the one readout uh, board on mine, and it tells me, you know, um, tells me what I need to know uh, for the most part. doesn't break it down individually, but you know, really, that's just fine by me. So uh, we're at $68, and we are at $68. So it's 120, 136. So 136 bucks gets you set up soup to nuts. Everything you need for 68 bucks. It gives you the wires you're going to need. It's going to give you the six wires so you can connect those to your GPUs. Um, you're going to have the uh, uh, wires to plug in for the ATX, for the hard drive, if you're using one, if not using a USB stick. Um, it's going to have the uh, connection cable so you can daisy chain these together. Everything is going to be um, hooked up together. So we're talking roughly, you know, uh, you know, whatever I would say it was, 140 bucks ballpark. So 140 bucks for something that's meant to run forever that has a, what would you say it was, 94% uh, efficiency? Is that what it was on this one? Or is that the other one was 94%? I mean, regardless, these things are efficient as efficient can get. So you have a, a machine, a, a power supply that's supposed to run, it's meant to run forever, compared to another power supply that's more for a home computer that you may or may not run all the time, uh, that may not be rated to have it running constantly. These things are, that's, that, that's a no-brainer. Um, yeah, they are smaller as far as, you know, everything being all compact and, 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 you know, then again, I can't say it's that much smaller. When I take these and I put it one down and I put a power supply on top of it, you know, side by side, these are almost the same width. Now, they are a little bit longer, obviously, uh, by, you know, another two inches. And then, of course, when you put the breakout board on there, it extends it even further. I get it. So it is a little bigger. Maybe it's a little more, you know, uh, more wires. But do a little cable management for peace of mind. How does that sound? Buy a power supply that's meant to run forever with parts sold from a company who specializes in this and designs their own boards to make your life more simple or buy the hundred dollar special burn out some wires um, maybe you'll be able to return it while you're returning it you won't have a power supply to run your rig so you're not making any money um, so you probably have to go buy another power supply just to have something running while you're doing that sending it back under warranty if it's still under warranty and then hoping for the best. I don't know. Whatever. You figure it out for yourselves. Um, like I said, check with an electrician. I am not an electrician. I'm an idiot most days when it comes to this stuff. Um, and I've been teaching myself more and more, so I am less of an idiot. Uh, because you know everybody that has seen my other uh, videos knows that this channel is built around my mistakes. Things that I've done that I didn't know enough about, but I knew enough to be dangerous, and started doing it. Learned the hard way, and, um, and now I'm doing it the right way. And in my mind, I believe that using these parts is the way to go. I think that overall you're going to be happy. I think that you know, you're going to maybe save a couple pennies with, with power. You're going to be running more efficient. You're going to be running more quiet. And you're not going to have to worry about running out of power. Because if you do have two, say, 1,200-watt 12, uh, 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 power supplies, you know, 
you have the ability to reach the numbers that you need to reach for as many GPUs as you might have in your rig. So anyway, that's my story. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, listening to me ramble on again forever about this. But uh, I'm a big fan of Parallel Miner, and I think you should check them out. Like I said, most of their products are sold out right now, but I will say their breakout boards are not sold out. Um, you know what? Before I go, I'm going to tell you one more thing really quick here. So I'm going to click on the board that I have, for instance, because I just recently went online and I had to buy a couple power supplies because I'm putting together another another rig, which is going to be a real special one that I'm putting together, and I'm going to be doing a video on that. Most of the parts have come in, but I want to get everything in and get it all lined up before I start that video. So I needed a couple new, stronger power supplies. So, But let's look at this breakout board. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and we are going to see right in here, this section is what you are going to be concerned with. Um, let's get that over here. So this section right here um, is the compatibility. So this is the breakout board for the $68. This is the one that I have that I've been showing you 37 times. And what I'm going to show you here is the breakout board compatibility. So I'm looking at 1200 watt power supplies. So this is the section I need to focus on. What you need to do is that if you do want to buy one of these breakout boards, but as you see, Parallel Miner doesn't have in stock the power supplies you want. You can buy another break. You can buy another power supply from somewhere else. It's okay this time. As soon as they have them back in stock, buy them from them. And let me say, their shipping is pretty fast too. Um, the handling time is eh, two to three days, so whatever. But they're swamped. You know, I, I get it. Whatever. I'm not going to beat them up over that. Shipping is pretty good. Shipping comes pretty fast. I'd say within four to five days, it does get to you. But because of the handling time, and if you hit a weekend, you know, it could take two weeks. Um, but for the most part, most everything I've gotten has gotten to me within four or five days. So it's they've been reasonable with it. And, and I, I am thankful for that because a lot of places I order stuff. And anyway, 1,200 watts. So let's look at 1,200 watts right here. And what we're going to be looking at is the model number of the board so like this one right here um the pl330 i'm sorry the pl30 so 643933-001 you're going to want to go ahead and you know as a matter of fact i'm going to go ahead and copy that and i'm going to drop that into a google search real quick while we are talking turkey here and let's see what pops up and here they are right here. So, like I said, as you can see, some of these are um, selling for $100, $120. All right, this guy's got it for $57. Bucks. Now, I don't know his website. Uh, I don't know a lot of these websites, so I'm not going to re recommend anything. But all I'm saying is that if you do a search for a model number, you will find them. And uh, let's see if anybody's got one on, like, eBay or something. Here's, here's a guy on eBay. Um... Let's see if there's, uh, you know, this is $145. I mean, you saw the price over here for these things, um, you know, power supplies, you know, going for $77 for the 100 and, uh, I'm sorry, 1200 watt, you know. So these guys are selling, look at this guy, $230, $283. All right, so they're getting out there a little bit, um, <laughs> $255. Now here's one here eBay 64.99 and so we'll click on it and we will look at our model number and we are looking for the 643993 um, I do not see it on here so that's a big deal okay so it's a different one so it came up even though it was in that search it came up saying that this would be one. Now you don't want to buy the wrong one because you're going to A, burn out your, your breakout board, you're going to burn out the HP power supply, and um, I don't know, burn your house down? I, I mean, I'm not going to. So uh, yeah, that one might be a little cheaper, but that may has, has a low compatibility with different breakout boards, for instance. Now, um, there were other ones in here. So 
Uh, let's do that really quick. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I just want to check this real quick. So 570-579. So they had two 570s and a 579. Uh, 570 and a 579. So let's check that one. 570-451-229. All right, there it is right there. So this one right here is compatible with this one right here. And, um, and for $64.99, man, uh, actually, that's, that's really good. So um, yeah, switching power supply. Well, that's actually a really good price right there. So uh, while this guy doesn't realize what he's selling, I am going to probably buy couple of these really quick uh, but uh, yeah he's a good seller 7140 7, reviews 99.6 percent positive um, yeah as a matter of fact I'm definitely gonna buy a couple of these really quick uh, because you know just having one of these now I am emailing and trying to talk Pell L minor to find out because I don't know the answer so don't do it but can I hook this and daisy chain it with a 1200 watt because maybe I don't need two 1200 watts. Maybe I just need one and one, but I want to know, can I daisy chain them together? Will that matter? Uh, or does that do something when they are connected? I think the only thing that this does is connect it so that the power button works with both. But other than that, um, I don't think it should matter what you're plugging your GPUs into. They're still going to be pulling the amount of power that they need no matter what. So I'm going to figure that out. I will probably put a little update to these things in later, but y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope I've explained this a little bit better. I hope that these breakout boards and the um, the HP power supplies that I'm using, like I said, I've only got the 750s. Uh, I've got two of these right here. I've got two of them running in the other room right now on that other one. And when I do my new build, I will start with these, but I am going to put the 1200 watt, and that's why I wanted to do that. I wanted to build two separate rigs. I do have another one right here next to me, and that one has a standard ATX power supply. I want to get rid of that power supply. I want to go with the ones that I have, the ones that I have now really appreciate so much more, and I am not afraid to use them. I have learned um, every bit that I can learn about these boards uh, so that I don't make a silly mistake. Um, silly. There's nothing silly about a stupid mistake. Uh, and that I'm doing the right thing. So, y'all, thanks for watching. You know, as always, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Are you using these power supplies? Do they work for you? Are you intimidated by them? Hopefully this video is going to set you straight and you're going to feel comfortable using them. And in my opinion, Look, you buy one of these 1200 watts. I mean, look at this one we got right here, $65, $65. And what was this, 67 something? Where am I at? 68, so 68 bucks. And I'm looking at the 65 bucks. So 130, 135 bucks, $135 for a power supply that you know that if you did a uh, 1200 watt, Oops. All right. So 1200 watt power supply. I mean, right here, EVGA, great brand. Not, not even, not even a question about that. $450. I know it's a good brand. I, I, I mean, I know this is good. Here, Corsair. Let's hit that one. Let's hit that one. You know, um, they're going to filter them for me or no? Let's go. What's up, computer? All right, whatever. All I wanted to do is just show you. Here you go, right here. 1,200 watt, 350 dollars. 350 bucks. I could buy two of these setups, two of these setups, with the wires, for the same price as that one. Do the math. Isn't that the name of this game? How much money you can, how much little money you could invest into this, and get the best quality. 
I mean, we're talking about the server power supplies that are meant to be workhorses, that are meant to take a beating, you know? Yeah, when they get up to 350 bucks, these here, these are probably meant to take a beating too. They're probably meant to run all the time. But, you know, something like this Seagotop, whatever, I don't even pronounce it, power supply, it's probably not meant to be running all the time, you know, just constantly taking that much draw and pushing that much power through it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But you know what is? This. So, you do the math, you do the numbers for yourself. Um, got any questions? Drop them down below. I'm going to leave a link for Parallel Miner. Like I said, I have no affiliation. I just think they're super awesome. And that's why I made this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And again, aren't you glad I was so long-winded? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.